All right, hey guys, it's Rob Anderson with Dollar Moves. I'd like to welcome you to another video. So this video is about some of the different scanning tools that I actually take with me when I go out scanning and scouting for product for my Amazon business. I've seen quite a few people asking, you know, what kind of things do you take? What do you recommend? So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have here. Um, all of the products you can find at dollarmoves.com forward slash resources. But let's go ahead and get started here. First thing you use, I have my Droid Razer Max phone. Now one of the reasons that I really like this phone is that the battery life on it is super long. I've never had an issue with battery life. And also the screen size is a really good size, so it's very easy to see. Um, all of the apps that I have work on Droid and pretty much um, iPhone too. And I know a lot of people use the iPhone. so. That is what the one that I use. Again, the battery has never been an issue. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you are using a certain uh, Droid phone. I have not looked in them recently. And if you have one that you really like, I'd like to hear about it. The next thing I have is going to be my armband that holds my phone so that I can actually have it on my arm while I am out there scouting. So that is the next thing that I take with me. After that, we have the ScanFob 2002 is what I have. The newly upgraded one is the 2005. And what this is is a, a Bluetooth um, laser scanner. Let's see. Oh, I guess mine's not charged up right now. But um, So that's the next thing that helps me to scan barcodes and put it right into my phone, into the apps, so that it can tell me if the product that I'm looking at is worth anything or not to me. Uh, next thing, I bring my Bluetooth piece so that I can actually... For myself, I like to listen to audiobooks or music when I am um, scouting. When you're first starting off, I wouldn't recommend it. Really get get down the uh, whole scouting process and learning your <coughs> sales ranks and all that stuff. But once you start getting used to it, you're more advanced. I, I recommend having your Bluetooth there. You can listen to stuff. The next thing is going to be a Scotty Peeler. Sometimes there are labels under that are on top of barcodes and these come in handy to just peel a little part of the bottom off and just kind of peel it up just so you can see enough of the barcode so you can scan it. Now the next thing that I have, oh and then I have this too for some of you folks that are still rocking the PDA, got a PDA here um, this is used, it's the old school technology that's used with some of the apps, they're not really, I guess software I guess would be an app for it but you download the database to the PDA and then you can um, use it. This is a scanner on the end here. I don't use this anymore because now um, I use Needle Pricer, which does that on my um, phone. So I just wanted to show that that was like back in the day. That was how I would um, I would have all this stuff set out. So um, that you know, it's a ton of stuff so far. So the next thing that I have is going to be a power brick. And what this is is you have the little tongs on the back there, you plug it in and it is a charger for your phone or your scan fob or whatever and basically you plug it in, get the charge going and then you have yourself a little power station there. Um, another one that I have, this is a newer one that I just recently got and I really like it. It's got bad reviews on Amazon but I think it's great. It's got a solar panel here. It's the same thing as that but it has a solar panel on the front and then it only takes, you just put a USB, use a USB to um, charge it so you don't have to plug it in. So you just plug this bad boy in and put that into your computer. So that's another thing. In fact, see the lights right here? It's charging just from the lights in the room. So totally dig that. Um, also, when you're out there, you got a lot of people that are touching things and all that. I like to take some sanitizer with me. Um, got a little guy here. That, uh, that I like to take with. So that's another one, some sanitizer. So I'll put that over here. Now for in your car, you want to make sure that all of your technology is always um, charged up. One of the things that I have, I bought this while I was out on a scouting trip. This is for your car charger and it just separates it so that you have two additional, um, you can put in two, two charger ports. And the reason I did that was my brother was with me one time and we, did not have enough juice for everything that was going on. Next one's going to be for your phone, the phone charger. Mine has an extra USB on the back so I can actually have my charger for my scan fob here. And then what I do is in my car, I put it, plug it in there and then I can have my phone going to one and then my um, scan fob going to the other. So. This is the stuff that I take. This is actually not taken with. 
this I keep in the car, but all this stuff, until just recently without that, this stuff here is what I take with me when I go out scouting. Actually, I'll leave this one in the car often too, and this is the actual amount of stuff. But anyway, I hope that you found this video valuable. Again, you can find all this stuff at dollarmoves.com forward slash resources. If you like what you saw, please go ahead and thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what you take out on your scouting trips. What If I missed anything or if there's stuff that you guys like to use when you go out scouting, I'd really like to hear about it. Um, also, if you like what you saw, please go ahead and subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks again for coming and watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.